Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Forge from Minecraft 1.16.3. That's right, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Forge from Minecraft 1.16.3. Now before we get started, if you're into videos like these, Minecraft tutorials, uh, videos about shaders, mods, texture packs, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button, I would sincerely appreciate that. And without further ado, let me show you how to install Forge from Minecraft 1.16.3. So installing Forge itself isn't even all that difficult unless of course you run into problems so we're also going to go over common problems that people run into during the installation of Forge. Now to get started you want to open up your browser and um, I actually put all of the links that I use in this video down in the description so don't worry about it. If you can't find anything it will be down there somewhere in the description. So to get started of course we need Forge itself. So you can actually just google Forge or use the link in the description. and. Um, if you google it just go with the minecraft forge one now obviously we end up on this page where it says minecraft 1.15.2 because that is actually the only version that has a recommended release but what you want to do if you want to download it for minecraft 1.16.3 is go over to this left menu right here click 1.16 and then select 1.16.3 as you can see, it only says latest and not recommended, but that's okay. So what you're going to want to do is actually click installer, which is this one with a little box right here. Just click that. We'll be redirected to an ad page right here. And then we have to wait five seconds and then we can click skip. So just clicking skip here will actually result in the file being downloaded. Now, um, Chrome will usually give you a warning with .jar files. Just click keep if you actually downloaded it from the links that I provided you with in the description. Now for most people this is actually fairly simple, they can just click this installer and it will open up a, um, a little installer for Minecraft 1.16.3 Forge. All you've got to do is click OK, but we're not going to do that just yet because for some people it doesn't work that way. So for me it has this little Java icon with a little coffee cup, but for some people it does not. In that case what you're going to want to do is use the link in the description or look for Jarfix, which is a program that fixes this. Go over to this link, this website right here. And it's kind of hard to find, but over here it says jarfix.exe. You're going to want to click that. It's going to download a program and you just want to execute that just like that. Just click it. You'll be prompted with a UAC prompt. Just click yes. And it's going to say that the .jar suffix has been fixed. So you can click OK or you can just close it. And now once you get back to your downloads folder and actually click this, it should work and open this installer. Now that you have this installer right here, what you're going to want to do is click OK. It's going to load, it's going to download a couple of things, it's actually going to patch Minecraft to actually work with mods. This is going to take some time, just wait. For some people, if you have a slow computer, you might actually want to grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, whatever you, uh, you prefer, because it might take a little longer. I have a fairly good system, so, you know, I've been talking for a little bit here and there. I think it's about done. There we go. As you can see, it has successfully installed the client profile Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3. So this is the moment of truth. Once we actually launch Minecraft, it should now say Forge. There we go. We now have a Forge profile for Minecraft 1.16.3. That's perfect. Now I actually want to also teach you how to allocate a little more RAM to Forge because if you're going to be using mods, you're actually going to be using more RAM. So what you're going to do is go over to installations right here, click these three little dots behind the Forge profile and then click edit. And now you're going to want to click more options down here. And as you can see, there's this little argument here that says XMX 2G. That means you can allocate two gigs of RAM to Minecraft. Now, if you actually only have four gigabytes of RAM in your system, I would suggest just sticking with two. If you have more, just, you know, say you have eight gigabytes of RAM in your system, then make this four at least. If you have 16, you can go all the way up to eight and so on. So that's the way to actually um, allocate more RAM to Minecraft. So what you're going to want to do once you're done is click save. And now the next time you actually launch Minecraft with Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3, you're going to have both mods for Minecraft 1.16.3 and it's going to have a little more RAM to work with. So I'm actually going to be launching the game just to show you that it has actually worked and that we have successfully installed Forge from Minecraft 1.16.3. So as you can tell by the warning at the top here, we have actually successfully installed Forge from Minecraft 1.16.3. We actually have a mods button right here where it says Minecraft 1.16.3 and Forge version well, 34 something. That's not really important. The important thing is once um, actual mods are going to be released from Micro 1.16.3, you're good to go. You can just put them in your mods folder and um, you'll be good to go and actually play Minecraft with mods. 
So if this video helped you out, which I hope it did, then of course be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And of course, as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!